Well, the hit songs of Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, and Dean Martin are bringing smiles to the faces of thousands of Portland area seniors. Their cover songs being performed live by local musician David Cooley, whose work in retirement homes earned him recognition from People magazine. Photojournalist Alex Van Dyne has the story. Don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me. Sing it with me. I've always loved the old music, and the retirement places are a great place to do it. And I've played music all the way back to um, 20s and 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s um, through my career, and so this seemed like a really a good fit. And it's just such a great place to play. The people are so appreciative. They can't go out to nightclubs. Um, a lot of them are kind of stuck here. Um, uh, some more than others, and so I just bring that here, and it's really a good deal. It's one, two, three o'clock, four o'clock rock, five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock rock. It's amazing the things they say. They come up afterwards and say, "Oh, you took me back to my my sister used to play those songs in the living room," and I'm just imagining this old house with this family, and the, the sisters playing the piano. It's 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 a nice image, and some of them say they were really having a hard day, and now they feel great. It's kind of like medicine in a way. To feel the magic I've been dreaming of, there's no turning back for you and me. I play the piano and I sing. And on a good day, I can play and sing at the same time. Um, I stand up and do a few uh, songs from my original record and from my um, classic uh, Sinatra style um, CD. And uh, that's always fun to get out in the audience and sing up close and personal. And so, as far as the act, it's just me pouring my heart out in these songs and telling these stories. The lyrics are great. It's really a lot of fun. How about it, sugar? Oh. <laughs> wow. They like to tell me about this and about that. And uh, Sentimental Journey is a really popular song. And once a guy came up afterwards and he said, you know, I was just getting off a uh, transport um, into India coming from the South Pacific uh, on my way home. And Doris Day was singing that song live at some USO show. And he says, I'll never forget that. Every time I sit here by my window. Well, it was really a great thing to be in People magazine. I'm really glad uh, that people covered the work that I'm doing. And they highlighted um, not only my, the music and my performance, but also the people um, that enjoy the performance. Because that's what it's all about. It's a partnership between me and the audience. Sometimes the audience owns me. I really do enjoy my work. It's just so much fun to sit up there, and I really do kind of lose myself quite often when everything is going well. I just go into this place of timelessness with the music, and I think the audience feels that, and so it's really a good, it's a win-win. It's yeah. a great thing. Thanks very much. My heart just melted. How cute was that? During his 30-year career, David has also performed on several cruise ships, sharing the stage with the Beach Boys, the Shirelles, and Chubby Checker.